Many businesses in Texas are opening today following Greg Abbott's decision to uh, restart the local economy and uh, basically look out for profits over human lives. Now, this is a problem because the metrics that he's using to make this decision are not valid given that widespread testing is still not available in the state of Texas. So the Associated Press reported that for the first time since early April, every restaurant and retailer across the state of nearly 30 million people is allowed to open doors to customers, although more widely in some cities than others and still under social distancing requirements, hair salons, gyms and bars remain closed. Another 50 Texans had died, though, from the virus, the most uh, in a day yet, and an additional 1,033 had tested positive, the third most in a day yet. So that was reported the day before uh, these orders were lifted, these businesses were allowed to open. So why is he making this decision? What is he basing it on? Well, he says, Greg Abbott says, that he's fo focusing on the ratio of positive cases to uh, tests conducted, right? So you conduct these tests, and if a certain uh, portion of those tests come back negative, he believes it's safe to reopen these businesses. But the problem is they don't have widespread testing. So there are probably a ton of people in the state of Texas who have the virus, but they just don't know. And as we know, you can be completely asymptomatic, have the virus, and spread it like wildfire. Yeah. Um, he's also focusing on... Um, uh, the number of people who are being hospitalized. But who's to say that people have coronavirus but haven't been hospitalized because they're asymptomatic? Yep. It's just, it's nonsense. It is. Uh, but wait, Anna, do you know the thing that is fundamentally different between now and when this started that makes us far safer uh, during the pandemic? No, what is it? I was hoping that you would because I don't. No. I have no idea, <laughs> nothing. Uh, I have another question for you. Do you know the day with the most new uh, coronavirus infections in California? I mean, after all, we've had weeks and weeks of social distancing and all of that, so clearly we've got a handle on it. The The highest number was the most recent day that I have reporting for, April 29th, had the most cases in one day. Yeah. It is still out there. It's still spreading. We're still losing thousands of people every single day. The only thing that has fundamentally changed is that people have gotten bored. They've gotten normalized to thousands of people dying every day. They just don't care anymore. Right. Yeah. I think about this almost every day now, and I don't know if it's unfair to make this comment, but I, I think about World War II, and I think about what Americans had to do during that time of war. I mean, rationing things, sending their their men, their husbands, their sons to war. Like they had to sacrifice quite a bit for World War II. Mm -hmm. And then you like fast forward to 2020 and Americans are like, I wanna get my hair done. I wanna go to the gym. No, you don't. No one wants to go to the gym. Literally I, nobody wants I to would, go to the gym. You're I would lying. Really like to go back to the gym. No, I really would. That's like the one thing that I would, would willingly leave my house for. Uh, but yeah, you're, you're totally right. People always wonder, I tweeted about this a couple weeks ago, people always wonder, if a zombie apocalypse hit, what would I do? And what you would do apparently is wait three weeks and then start whining and then let the zombies in because you can't deal with the fences anymore. That's what most Americans would do, unfortunately. Okay, not most Americans, but that's what three out of 10 Americans would do. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun, but you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.